week for seven months. I think was my first time expecting mother, and I'm much unaware about my health and the changes that happened. But few days ago, I had a severe chest pain after I did so many vomits, and it was so severe that I have I was crying so much and called one of my cousin sisters who is in paramedics about what to do. She got panicked, uh, me crying, and called my parents and asked them to visit me. And when they came and they took me to the hospital, seeing my condition, since my husband wasn't available, my mother-in-law was also aware about my condition. But instead of taking me to the hospital, she was giving me all the home remedies. But my parents took, and from the hospital, uh, my parents took to their home with my husband's permission. One day later, my mother-in-law started yelling on my husband and telling him that I called my parents without asking her, and she also tortured. I can't hear you, Farheen. Can I repeat again, Sheikh? No, I heard you until your mother-in-law shouted at her son. Yes, uh, just one day later, I was very sick. He, sh she shouted on my husband and telling him that I called my parents without asking her, even though she know that I didn't do that. My parents came to know uh, uh, from my cousin that I wasn't well and I was crying. So then my parents came and then they took me to the hospital. I understood. I heard. I heard all of this. What is your question? I, I just wanted to ask that since then, my husband isn't uh, uh, talking to me properly and I tried resolving this issue with him and he showed me later that he's all fine, but I feel I feel he isn't still that connected to me like he was before. I feel so hurted and I don't know what to do. I, I need your advice on this, Shay. The advice, the advice is treating people with kindness and tolerance is the best remedy. Now, your husband is caught between a rock and a hard place. He loves you, he cares for you, but at the same time, his evil mother is filling up his head with gossip and false information. And she's the only mother he has on this earth, regardless of how evil she is. And due to that, he does not have the ability to stand up and confront her because he doesn't want to be disobedient or disrespectful. And at the same time, the pressure she's exerting upon him is overwhelming. So instead of you adding more insult to injury, rather you should back off a little bit and let it slide. Don't nag him. Don't ask him what's wrong. Why are you sad? Why aren't you talking to me? Why did you change? Who did this to you? What have I done wrong? And you keep on repeat, repeat, repeat. No. This would only make things worse. Rather be tolerant, give him some time, give him some space, and he'll come back to you. He knows that his mother is evil. Unfortunately, like some mother-in-laws who think that their daughter-in-law is, is their slave and they have the right to control them, even if they would harm them physically or kill them because of their ignorance of treating such an illness. Nevertheless, brush it off. She's his only mom on earth. So give it, give it some time. Don't nag him. Give him some space. He'll come back to you, inshallah.